Rafi Mediavilla, criticologos.com. First, Greg, an honor, an honor to be talking to you. I know you're maybe sick of saying, uh, people hearing you say that, but to me, it's a really honor. Thank you for taking your time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to um, talk. Um, the, the first thing so was mostly about the science or, 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 or how making this work. This season feels more of a love story, a puppy love story. Was that something that you had in mind since the beginning or did some plan change in, in, in the process? Uh, well, I always looked at the show as being a romance uh, a story at its core, but it has a lot of other aspects. There's a mystery, there's science fiction, there's comedy. But um, I think the spine of it is, is the love story. But in the, in the first season, they don't know each other. Uh, so there is a, several episodes where they haven't met yet, or they, they, uh, you know, they haven't taken up with each other. And um, so I think it does play more maybe intensely as a love story in season two, because they, they have connected and then circumstances have forced them apart. And um, we'll see if they can, you know, get back together. <laughs> No spoilers, no spoilers, come on. Um, obviously, season one was produced uh, before the pandemic. The pandemic happened and then season one came out, was a hit. I, I had a friend of mine uh, that recommended me, the, the, the colleague of mine recommended me to watch season one. And um, did, you know, I think the pandemic added a new layer to the story or to the concept of, of upload. Was that something that you, you know, had in mind when coming into season two? Uh, did it play a role, uh, the, how the whole world changed? Um, yeah, to, to a certain extent. I think that, um, that it did resonate with audiences because we were forced into a very virtual way of interacting with each other. Uh, and the show's themes and everything, it's all about uh, the difference between the real world and this virtual world. And, you know, uh, a lot of the things that we brought up, we're, we're trying to look only 15 years in the future. So a, a, as things pop up, they, they start to happen like exactly as it is in the show. And so, you know, the fact that there's now this thing, the metaverse is very much about where we, where we are anticipating in the show. And, um, you know, so I think for season two, we're definitely uh, continuing with all of the stories of the different characters. And we're trying to keep the mystery getting more uh, intense and interesting. And, um, and we're trying to stay ahead of all the recent, uh, you know, technology and, and involve new things that you haven't seen before that we didn't mention in season. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, all right. That's like, that's exactly how the poster is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to show you because I I, I showed the, the the other actors and I asked them what they were playing or, or did they, if they had one. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask you if you're playing VR or if you have a game or anything. Or do you do you play VR? Do you have a game, <laughs> a favorite game or something? Well, you know, um, I just bought one of those and okay. being delivered today, and I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of using it more. But various other people. I mean, I have used it. Um, you know, uh, in demonstrations. Uh, and it tends to make me a little uh, seasick. Uh, so I'm hoping to get a little better at it. What, one final question before I let you go. For people that, that haven't seen season, uh, season one and they want to get into, into season one and then dive into season two, what would you tell them? Uh, what can they expect from the series and between season one and two? What can they expect from the project? Well, um, you know, I think they can expect that it is... Uh, something that gives you a glimpse of what life could be like in about 10, 15 years. It's, um, it, and it's, it's made to be very uh, intense uh, with a sort of a Harry Potter uh, uh, feeling of mixing fantasy with humor and, but all around these very specific characters who, who seem like real people and are kind of likable and doing real things. And kind of, it's a, it's a good uh most people that watch it tell me that they just inhale it uh, and get right to the end and they they find it to be very uh, engaging, which is what the goal was. Yeah. Again, Greg, a pleasure and honor to be talking to you. Uh, congratulations on another amazing project. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.